Hi there, I'm Paxi, and I come from a far away planet. I came to Earth to meet you and tell you about my space adventures. Are you ready to meet a comet? Comets are so beautiful. Look at this one. Its name is Hale Bop, and it was visible from Earth for many months in the 1990s. Many of you were not even born then. What makes comets so beautiful is their bright tail. This makes them really unique in the sky. There is nothing else that looks like them. Let me take you closer to the edge of the solar system, where comets come from. I really want to find some of them and show them to you close up. You will be surprised. Here we are. We are very far away from the sun here. That's why it's so cold, freezing cold. It is difficult to imagine how cold it is here. Can you see all those dark objects? They are like dirty snowballs. They are comets. We're getting close to the sun and it's getting a bit warmer here. Look, something is happening to the comet. You can see some jets of gas and dust coming out and all this stuff is making a bright cloud that goes all around it. This cloud is called the coma, from the ancient Greek word for hair. Amazing! Now we're even closer to the sun. Look, the wind is coming from the sun. It's starting to push against the gas and dust in the coma. This is how comets' tails form. This is really, really exciting. Wow, it goes fast here. My counter says more than 100,000 kilometers per hour. That's about 30 times faster than the fastest airplane on Earth. Most comets we see in the solar system follow a path which has an oval shape. Some of them swing around the sun and go back to the edge of the solar system before heading in again for another loop. And again, and again. Some finish their life by diving straight into the sun and others swing around the sun, never to return. So many different paths. Let me now tell you a fascinating story about comets and an amazing robotic spacecraft called Rosetta. Rosetta's story began in 2004 when a rocket blasted off from Earth, carrying it into space. It was built by the European Space Agency, helped by many space partners around the world. Rosetta spent the next 10 years travelling in space to get to a comet called 67P, Churyumov Garasimenko. And guess what? In 2014, it got there. Rosetta is able to fly near the comet as it gets closer to the sun. It can take pictures, measure the size of the comet, and do a lot of experiments. Rosetta is quite big. With its solar panels open, it is as high as a seven-storey building. And it is also carrying a robotic lander called Philae that is able to land on a comet. Philae is about the size of a washing machine. Landing on a comet is tricky. If Philae did not have harpoons and screws in its feet to anchor it to the surface, it could just bounce off the comet back into space. No spacecraft has ever flown alongside a comet and landed on it before. That's why Rosetta is so special. The fillet lander can drill into the surface of the comet, look and sniff around. Rosetta and fillet, working together, are trying to understand what comets are made of. All this information is stored in a computer on board Rosetta and a powerful radio antenna sends it to scientists on Earth. Why is it so important to study comets? It's because a long time ago, when your planet was young, long before the dinosaurs and even life and plants appeared, many comets hit the Earth. A true bombardment, believe me. Now, my scientist friends on Earth believe that comets contain water and even the basic building blocks of life. This is the material, or molecules, that make up animals and plants. Rosetta is helping them find out if water in the oceans and the seeds of life were carried to Earth 
by comets. So we followed a comet and saw its tail form and grow as it got closer to the sun. We also found out about an amazing space mission, Rosetta, the first spacecraft ever to fly alongside a comet, and Philae, the first to attempt to land on it. Soon we will be closer to knowing if comets brought water and helped start life on Earth. How exciting! <laughs>